conclusion. What we need is more value in the money. You know, in terms of, of gold and other commodities, prices aren't really going up. Sometimes they actually even go down. In terms of paper money worldwide, whether it's the euro or the dollar, uh, prices, prices are going up. But I maintain really that inflation is a tax. And if the Federal Reserve and you as chairman have this authority to increase the money supply arbitrarily, you're probably the, the biggest taxer in the country. You're a bigger taxer. Than, than to Congress. Because, you know, they're talking now about a bailout package of $300 billion, and we'll have to raise the national debt to accommodate to take care of the housing crisis. But y you, as a Federal Reserve chairman and the Federal Reserve board in the system, create hundreds of billions of dollars uh, without even uh, appropriation process. But then this money gets circulated, and some people benefit. The people who get to use it first benefit. The people who get to use it last suffer the consequence of the higher prices. And so every time people go and they complain about these higher prices, they should say to themselves, I'm paying a tax. Because whether you're monetizing debt or whatever, or catching up for uh, buying up securities, uh, you know, we've had a free ride for all these years. Uh, uh, we've been able to export our inflation. We have the Chinese buying up our securities. We haven't had to monetize it. But now it's coming home, and you do. You have to buy these things to prop them up. So I maintain that inflation, that is the increase in the supply of money for various reasons, is a tax. It's an unfair tax. It's a regressive tax. It hurts the poor. It hurts the retired people more because labor cost, labor's never goes up and keeps up with inflation. We never keep up with the need for the retired individuals to keep up with the cost of living. So I'd like you to comment on this. Is, is this completely off base or is there something really to this every time we see the cost of living going up that we indirectly are paying a tax? Congressman, I, I couldn't agree with you more that inflation is a tax and that inflation currently is too high.